All right, it's time for a definition. In this case, the definition of the determinant of a square matrix. This is a scalar. It's something like a mass, though not necessarily positive. So given a square matrix, call it A, the determinant is often denoted as A with absolute value signs around it, and it is a scalar. What it is is a little bit hard to define, so we're just going to do some explicit examples. First of all, in the case of a one by one matrix where your entry is A, then the determinant is simply that entry, A. That's it, and that's pretty simple enough. It's kind of the only thing that it could be. In the case of a two by two matrix, then what do we get? Let's say it's the matrix A, B, C, D, then the determinant of A is defined to be A times D minus B times C. Okay, now wait a minute, I've seen that before. That showed up in the definition of the inverse. Remember, that was, that was down in the denominator? And what that means is that a two by two matrix is invertible if and only if the determinant is non-zero. Hmm, I wonder if that's something. Okay then, well, let's think about what happens in dimension three. Ooh, this gets a little more involved. Let's say that we have a three by three matrix with entries A sub i, j. There's a very complicated and, and frightening looking algebraic formula for the determinant of A that is given as A11 times A22 times A33 plus A12, A23, A31 plus A13, A21, A32 <gasps> minus A13, A22, A3. Oh gosh, I can't keep going. Uh, there's the formula. It's often remembered by means of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a trick. You take the columns of A, you write them down, and then you continue writing the columns of A uh, cyclically, wrapped around, repeated. And then you do this little whoosh, whoosh motion where you use those diagonal lines to, um, to tell you what triples to multiply together. And then you, you add the ones going one way and subtract the ones going the other way. It's, it's kind of complicated, but it's a compact way to remember that formula for a three by three determinant. But wait a minute, I've seen that before. Even that, that whoosh, whoosh trick, that is, that is something that we did earlier. And, and the reason why we've seen it before is that determinants are everywhere. For example, when we did scalar triple products, u dot v cross w, the formula for that is nothing more than the determinant of the three by three matrix you get by stacking U, V, and W as columns of the matrix. You can write that out and see that that's exactly what you get. And that's a great way to remember that formula. Well, once you've understood determinants. And in like manner, we can think about cross products the same way in terms of determinants with a, with a little bit of a tweak. If I take V cross W and pack those two vectors into the second and third columns of a three by three matrix, then what I could do is a little bit of a trick where I can pretend that the first column is I, J, K. Now that's not really a, a vector, it's a, a vector of basis vectors. So this is, you know, kind of uh, not quite on the level, but this is a great way to remember the formula for a cross product in terms of determinants. Now you should try writing these formulae out. See that this really works. This will give us motivation for moving forward with determinants in general.